Well guys, how are you all doing now? Now, now, now. Brace yourself because the biggest transfer in football history has just happened. Paul Pogba has gone back to Manchester United for around £100 million. And yeah, today we are going to go over his FIFA 12 card because that's when he was in FIFA to his FIFA 16 and I'm going to predict his FIFA 17 card as well. But guys, before we do jump straight into this video, if you do like this video, the support has been amazing recently on my videos. If we can smash 40 likes, that'll be amazing. Also guys, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss a video. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. As I said, we're going to be going over the Paul Bogba's card starting from FIFA 12 because that's when he was introduced into FIFA. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. And we are starting off with FIFA 12. He's 55 rated CDM bronze card. And when you're looking at that, look at that. It's just so, so bad. Um, his stats, probably his best stat is 68 pace. Other than that, there's nothing really to look to. Uh, and then he moved to Juventus, which that's a massive step up. If he wasn't being played at Manchester United, that was a massive step up uh, going to Juventus. He got an upgrade to a 64, so a massive upgrade. Um... And look at them stats, uh, 79 pace, 71 shooting, 62 passing, 71 dribbling, 77 defending and 61 physical. Look at them stats, don't concentrate on the overall rating, but looking, in, looking on them stats on the cards, he could easily be a 74 or 75 rated card just by looking at them stats. But he was a 64 and them FIFA 12 cards are just so, so funny. Looking back to where he is now to back then, it's just funny. And then moving over to FIFA 13, these were his FIFA 13 cards. And before we go any further, I just want to say that throughout these FIFAs, he got informs, he got team of the seasons, he got loads of special cards. I'm not going to show you them, I'm just going to show you his normal cards. And if he got an upgrade, I'll show you that as well. So going over to FIFA 13, he had a silver 72 rated card uh, with 72 pace, 63 shooting, 77 passing, 79 dribbling. Decent uh, uh, defending and decent physical as well. But for his position, it wasn't that good. See, only 67 defending and 64 physical. 72 overall. And then there you go. He got another upgrade. So two favors now. Two favors in a row. He got an upgrade. 2877. So quite a big of, a, uh, big of an upgrade as well. All round stats as well. 72 pace, 74 shooting, 80 pass, and 82 dribbling, 74 defending, and 80 physical. Very, very nice card for his FIFA 13 cards. And then we move over to FIFA 14, where once again, he got an upgrade to a 79 overall, moving to a center midfield as well. And by this time, he was just... He was just going up and up and up and up and up. And you can see when we get to FIFA 15 and FIFA 16, it's just crazy how much he's improved since him leaving Manchester United to get some game time. So he's gone from a 77 from FIFA 13 to a 79 on FIFA 14. Once again, all rounded stats, 75 pace, 76 shooting, 80 passing, 80 dribbling, 76 defending and 81 physical as well. And then once again, he got an upgrade to an 81. So a plus two, uh, not much really changed. A couple of... Uh, five plus defending, which was pretty decent. A couple physical stats, uh, a couple defending stats, shooting stats, and the passing gone up by one as well. So overall, in FIFA 14, he got a decent upgrade. And then we move over to FIFA 15, and he started with an 83 overall. Once again, all round his stats, just a beast of a player. Uh, 76 pace, 78 shooting, 79 passing, 83 dribbling, 73 defending, and 88 physical. You could play him striker, you could play in centre midfield, you could play CDM, you could play centre back. You could even probably play in goal. Why not? Put him in goal. Um, and then once again, he got another upgrade. So every single FIFA, four FIFAs in a row, he had a normal card at the beginning of FIFA. And then he had an upgrade. So he's gone from an 83 to an 84. Once again, not big of an upgrade, but he got a couple stats upgraded here and there. Very, very nice card. And then we move over to the current FIFA, FIFA 16, where you guys all know. He had an 86 rated card where his stats just look incredible. 77 pace, 80 shooting, 80, uh, 82 passing, 86 dribbling, 74 defending, and 88 physical. So his physical has just been going up and up and up every single year. He's getting so strong. Um, decent shooting, decent pace, decent passing, decent dribbling, and good physical, uh, good defending, sorry, as well. He did move up to that center mid role, so he's not playing as deep as he used to. And then we go over to my prediction, what I think his FIFA 17 card will be. And this is what I think his card will be. An 88 overall centre mid Manchester United card. I think Man United fans are so gassed. I think they are so happy to have him back. 
Um, 80 pace, 83 shooting, 83 passing, 88 dribbling, 76 defending, and 89 physical. Now, he can do that defending role quite well, but I don't think that's where he's going to play. I think he's going to play further up in the field. So, uh, his card looks amazing. I'm not going to lie. 88 overall. He could get the 87, 88, but I think 88 is perfect for Paul Bogba. And as I said, the Man United fans must be so, so happy to have him back. For the price tag as well, uh, I'm not surprised that he's worth that much. So, guys, these are all his cards in uh, from FIFA 12 to FIFA 16. I obviously predicted the FIFA 17 card. But as I did say, he had so many cards. He had uniforms, he had team of the seasons, team of the years. Uh, he had like orange cards, purple cards, just name name a colour. He probably had the cards. So I thought I'd show you. It's just I, it's just crazy how much he's gone for, to be honest. But maybe he's worth it, maybe he's not. Tell me what you think in the comments below. But guys, if you did like this video, please comment and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter. Our link will be in the description. And I will see you next time. Woo -boo! to tell you that a lot more stuff uh, to come on my channel, a lot more FIFA videos, a lot more in real life videos as well. Let me quickly show you what I've got. So as you can see, I did pick up a Canon PowerShot G7X. This is what most people use nowadays, as you can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to this camera because at the moment I'm using...